All right, in this video, we're still continuing our conversation with gross pay. Now, what's different is now we're going to be focusing in on commission and sales. All right, so that's another way that you can get paid is through commission and sales. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the big idea is to when someone gets paid on commission or sales, it is to find the total sales that they generated. You multiply it by the percentage, and then you get what is called their commission. And basically what commission is, is how much money you would get um, based off a percentage of what you sell. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of deal with a couple examples to really kind of drive this home. Uh, Adriana wrote a textbook for high school students. She receives 10% of the royalty. Now, royalty just means she's getting kind of, uh, she's getting paid uh, to because she was the one that created the book. It's kind of like a commission. All right. Now, the book sells for, here we go, $47.95, and she sold 17,000 of them. All right, now remember, again, going back to, well, I guess I should finish the question here. Uh, last year, how much did she receive in royalties? All right, so again, remember that in order to figure out royalties, all right, now again, royalty is just like commission, but to figure out how much money she's going to make, okay, we take her total sales and then we are going to multiply it by a percentage, okay? So her total sales, if you notice, and I'll just write over here, her total sales was the book sold for forty-seven ninety-five, and then she sold seventeen thousand of them. So seventeen thousand times forty-seven ninety-five, and then that is eight hundred and fifteen thousand one hundred fifty. Okay. Now her commission, her commission is based off of ten percent of that. So eight hundred and fifteen thousand one hundred fifty times ten percent, which would be point ten. She would be making for the year in royalties $81,515. All right, let's keep going. All right, Allison sells cosmetics part time from door to door. She is paid a monthly commission. She receives 11% of her first $900 in sales and then 17% of the balance. All right, so for this question, it's weird because of the way it's worded. It says the balance of her sales. Okay, that's kind of a weird way to say things. So basically, what that means is balance of her sales what that means is anything above in this case nine hundred dollars okay so that's what that means all right now i always like to kind of take the information and kind of break it up all right so last month she sold 1250 all right so the way that this is going to be set up and that is the first nine hundred dollars all right so the first nine hundred dollars she's going to get 11%, okay? Now, anything beyond $900, she's gonna get 17%. So a, a simple little subtraction problem, $900 take away from 1250 would be 350. So then she would get 17% of that. So I'm going to take, in this question, I'm gonna take 900, I'm gonna times it by 11%, I'm going to take 350 times by 17%, and I'm going to add the two numbers together to figure out what her commission is for that particular question. So that qu that ends up being $158.50. All right. So Kate works in a dress factory that makes dresses for design boutiques. She is paid a piecework rate. Now, a piecework rate, what that means is you get paid for the piece. So everything you make, you get money for. So she gets paid $85 per dress. Yesterday, she made three dresses. Okay, so she gets $85 per dress, and she made three dresses, so 80 times, 85 times three. Very simply, she would make $255 for the day. All right. So example number four. Tony picks strawberries and gets paid a piecework rate of $0.45. Cents. All right, so again, piecework. Again, you're getting paid for um, how much you produce. He receives $0.65 cents per container for anything over for $200 or $200 that he picks last week. He's been, all right, so in this particular question, it says he's getting paid at different rates. The first 200 containers, he gets $0.65. Cents. Anything over 200, I mean, scratch that. I'm sorry. I totally messed that up. I'm sorry. 
So let's try this one more time. All right, so he gets paid 45 cents for the first 200 containers. And I'll do this in different color. And then he receives 65 cents for everything over 200. All right, so what we have here is a situation where he's getting paid at two rates. So just like the question that we did, question number two, where you divided up how much they sold, you do the same thing here. So the first 200 for the first 200 containers and then everything else. So for the first 200 containers, all right, so the first 200, he got paid 45 cents, which is 0.45, okay? For anything above and beyond 200, which in this case would be 70, he would get paid 65 cents. So the first 200 containers, he got paid 45 cents, and then the additional 70 that was beyond that, he was getting paid 65 cents. So two, 200 times 45 cents, and then the last 70 that got paid at 65 cents per. You do the math, and of course you're going to add both those together. $135.50 for the day. All right. Or last week, that is. All right, for example, number six. Joyce works at a furniture place. She is paid on commission. She receives 10% of her first 900 in sales and 15% on the balance. Last week, she sold 850. Now, just to remind you, whenever it says the balance of her sales, that means anything over and beyond, Not in this case, 900. So again, balance of her sales, that means anything above, in this qu question, $900. But the thing is, she only sold 850 bucks, so she actually never made it above 900. So you would just simply take 10% and times it by 850, which gives you $85. So 1050 times 85 would give you $85. All right, so question number two. Rock musician Donnie West is paid 15% on his sales and videos and video sale on his CD sales and video and tour video sales. Well, I'll get it right. Last year, he sold 1 million CDs and 550,000 videos. The CDs were sold to music stores for $5 and videos for 6 All right, so let's kind of break this down because there's a lot here, and let's just kind of break it down. First off, what, is his, what was his total amount of CD sales? Well, let's read the question. He sold... Let's see. He sold 1 million CDs for $5 each. So I'm going to multiply 1 million times 5,000 or 1 million times $5 and $5 million was his overall sales. All right. I'll make that a little smaller. There we go. What was his total amount of video sales? Well, again, let's read the question. He sold... 550 videos at six bucks six bucks a pop so i'm going to multiply those two together and i end up with three million three hundred thousand okay so what is the combined total of cd and video sales well that's easy all, all i'm going to do is just add this and add those two up which gives me a grand total of eight million three hundred thousand dollars now, how much did Danny or Donnie West receive? Well, according to the question, he gets 15% of whatever is sold. Well, he sold 8 million. So to figure this out, I'll take 8,300,000, and I'm going to times that by 15%, which is 0.15. So how much is the rock musician going to make based off of his video and CD sales? One million two hundred and forty-five thousand. All right. Liz works at Heedle's Computer Outlet. She receives a weekly salary plus two hundred dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, a weekly salary of two hundred dollars plus three percent commission on her sales. Last week she sold twenty-nine thousand dollars worth of computer equipment. How much did she earn? Now for this question here, she is getting paid on commission. So she's getting paid three three percent commission off of everything she sold. So right then and there, that's that's the easy part. Okay, so 29,000 times 29,700 times 0.03 gives you a number that I don't know off the top of my head. Times 0.03. So she got $891 in commission. All right. 
But the question has a different part to it, or has another part to it. She also receives a weekly salary of $200. So what that means is she gets $200 on top of her commission. So we're going to take her commission and add the $200, which gives you a grand total of $1,091. All right. Question number four. Oscar sells internet access uh, subscriptions by phone. He receives 12% of the first 1,000, and then here we go, 15% on the balance over 1,000. Last month, he sold 7,500. So again, this is one of those situations where the more you sell, you run into a different rate. So based off of this question, the first 1,000, he's going to get one percentage and anything above that. So the first 1,000, he's going to get paid 12%, 0.12. Anything beyond 1000 which in this case would be 6500 he'd get paid 15%. So, very simply, I'm going to multiply these two together. I'm going to multiply these two together, and then I'm going to add up what I got. And so the answer ends up being 1095 And then lastly, question number five, and we'll stop here. Uh, Sullivan... Sylvan uh, picks berries at Seymour's Berry Farm. He receives 28 cents from each small basket pick. Last week, he was able to pick 731 baskets. So this, was a, this is kind of a step down when it comes to difficulty. 28 cents per basket, 731 of them. So I'm just going to multiply those two together. $204.68 is how much he's going to make for the week. All right. That's the video. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.